Thanks, Christina. I'm excited to be back and give you a sneak peek into the future. As you've seen from Amy's presentation, we have made great progress in Jutro. So for this tomorrow section, I would like to tell you more about how we're expanding Jutro capability. As we described earlier, Jutro development was driven by two key principles, reusable component and metadata. In the upcoming releases of Jutro, we will continue to expand the number of components. We want to make it easier for developers, and ultimately, we want to enable digital agility for all our customers. In fact, we are currently working on two new components. Those are app templates and micro front-end. So what are those? App templates are predefined app framework that include the UX logic design layout and the business logic. App template will dramatically reduce the time to deliver and build new digital experience created by developers but could be easily configurable by business users. Micro front end are fully self-contained digital apps designed for maximum reusability. Think of a micro front end as a critical functional building blocks. Since we want to maximize the reusability opportunity, we started with quote flow, probably the most used piece of functionality of our application. You will be able to embed those anywhere, and we're making them upgrade safe. To summarize, today in Dobson, we show you how Jutro capability connected to Insurance Suite Core were used to rebuild all digital Engage apps, including Customer Engage. Now, these apps are all Jutro compatible and much more flexible than before. Going forward, we are breaking down those applications in logical building blocks to be used anywhere. This is what we call micro front ends. We are starting with quote and buy and claim submission, but we're going to make many more to come. We believe the power of embedded micro front end anywhere will be at the core of what we call digital agility. Our new digital experience or even our existing customer portal. Think about embedding those again into your existing customer engage, embedding those into a new application, or embedding those into your portal with maximum flexibility. But I believe that it's way easier to show in action instead of via complex slide. And as you know, I really like live demos at Connection. So to do this, let's welcome Dimitri Remenov, who is joining us remotely from his home in Germany. Hi, Dimitri. Thanks for joining. Hi, Diego. It's really nice to be here, even remotely, and to be able to share with you the exciting vision of the future of our Utra platform. So before we start, I want to set a proper expectation. Everything we will be showing here is still in development. We're actually showing you the e-release plus. Uh, that's what we're working today. And, and so this entire digital tomorrow demo is directly from our dev environment. And as any demo from a dev environment, Let's see what happened. <laughs> uh, by the way, Diego, did you know that word Jutro means tomorrow in Polish? Yes, I actually know that. Maybe later Mike can tell the story of how the name came about. But for now, let's just simply say that the big portion of our development team developing Jutro is actually working from our Poland uh, development center. But I'm really excited to jump into the demo, especially because we've been working on this until last Friday. Again, another advantage of working on a cloud infrastructure. At any moment, we can take a cut and give you a sneak peek of what we're working on. So, Dimitri, let's go. Cool. I hope you can see my screen. Yes, I can actually see your screen. OK, great. So I'm going to start on the Guide via Cloud homepage, which you're already familiar with. And we have here a new tile under the Ultra section. And from here, it launches our Guide via Cloud console that has been extended with a new feature to enable Utra web application management. And as you can see, there are two apps already running on our platform. One is the Quote app for the homeowner's insurance. And the another one is what we call KZ Hub app. So those to set the stage are actually two micro front end, what we call micro front end. Exactly, Diego. And as you can see, yeah, both, both apps are marked as micro ends, micro front ends. So these are the functional building blocks of the digital engage. Okay, so these are fully functional apps built for one interaction task only, without many of the element of standalone app, like a header or a navigation pane. Okay, as an example, let me launch the quote app and let's make a quote for new homeowners policy for our CEO, Mike. So I'm going to type quickly his name. 
click the search account button and it will search for his existing account details in the background on the policy center running on the Guidefire Cloud. Just to set the stage, this app is leveraging our new Cloud REST API to retrieve all those information. Absolutely. They are using the insurance suite cloud APIs everywhere in this demonstration to collect, collect information needed and, of course, to calculate the quote. So here they are. They have just about the 700 uh, US dollars for the premium coverage package for mine. And you can see also the quote number that was automatically generated by the policy center in the background. Dimitri, maybe it's a good idea to show where the link between the Jutro micro front end app and the policy center is defined. Definitely. So I'm going back into the cloud console. There you can see our quote app was deployed and we see it is connected to the particular insurance suite environment. So clicking this will open us the page explaining the insurance suite applications up and running here, including the policy center instance our quote app is connected to. So if you recall the auto provision in demo, we started the, the day before. Uh, this is the same initial screen. So once the auto provision is complete, this is the first screen on GCC or Guidework Cloud Console, in which we're using, again, the same CBC that we used before, containing all the four products. Here you see the four products deployed with the respective link. And this is how you connect the micro front end app into, into Insurance Suite. Now, while everything worked just fine, the app layout was not ideal. We had long input field, a single column. It requires some scrolling. So can we revise the layout to correct this and maybe include the property risk score from Hazard Hub? Actually, the beauty of the new application template is they encapsulate both application logic and the UX design layout. And by the way, our team created another template so we can use it. So perfect. So let's, create, let's click on that new Jutro application button that I'm really curious about, and let's see what's next. OK, sure. First, we need to select the insurance suite environment followed by the APD insurance product our quote is going to be uh, using, and in this case, it will be the homeowners. Okay, so just to make sure everybody understands, this could be any APD product model. In this case, we're picking the out-of-the-box homeowner insurance that Amy showed earlier as part of Guidework Go. Exactly, so as soon as I pick the homeowners, I can navigate directly into the insurance suite uh, product management uh, screen, there we can see absolutely the same amount of the insurance products managed and defined by APD as we have seen in our dropdown here. Perfect. What next? Next, we are selecting the application type. It will be micro front end. And the next one, we are going to select the template we are going to apply to our application. So the two to one columns layout we have already seen. So now I'm picking the new with the three columns layout and new functionality. So basically, you select the environment, you select the product model, you pick an app template, and the next screen we have a few more things to configure. As you can see here, the application name, a couple of description, and then we need to pick a theme that we've been talking about before. Uh, I like the endless sky, that is the one we used so far, so pick that one. Done, and finally what I'm doing, I'm selecting the Hazard Hub micro front end, and I'm going to add it into the integration slot available in this new template. This is like a dream within a dream. So you can combine a micro front end inside another micro front end? Exactly, and this is absolutely fantastic feature in my opinion. This is the real power of breaking down applications into the smaller functional building blocks. So they can be reused anywhere, whether it's another micro front end or completely different application. So let's see this magic now. So tying this back to our GWCP platform makes all this easy for developer. Here, we picked up the template, we initialized it with all the defined parameters, we created a dedicated repository, created a needed CI CD pipeline, and finally, boom, build and deploy our brand new application on Guidework Cloud. Well, that's precisely what you asked Tim to build. Uh, I remember clearly you said, I want click, click, and then boom. So that's exactly what we did, and we really hope you like it. So, sounds like a great vision and an even better execution. I guess now you can copy the URL and launch the app. Yeah, sure. I'm going to do it. Copy and launch. 
And we see pretty similar app, just using the different layout, more compact, no scrolling. No scrolling. Great. So we show easy to create and easy to deploy. One last thing we would like to show you is digital ag agility and embed this new quote app in another business application. In this case, for example, Salesforce CRM. Yeah, and I have prepared the Salesforce, Salesforce instant just in case, and let's test it on your account, Diego. So I'm going into the newly created homeowner's quote tab, and what you can see here is exactly the same application using the same URL, the same layout, just embedded inside of the Salesforce. I can see we use the same endless sky template, but we could have created a different template that better match the, better match the, sales, the Salesforce look and feel. And also what we are doing here, we are leveraging the Hazard Hub micro front end, which communicates with the rest of the quote application and helps us automatically identify the related property risks. And at the end also, it will help to provide you, Diego, with a better and more suitable coverage package. This is very exciting functionality and I'm very happy my quote is cheaper than Mike. Uh, one more question. What was this done in real time against Policy Center? Are we retrieving, are we synchronizing all that directly with our uh, transactional system? Absolutely. Let me copy this quote number, which is submission number in the Policy Center, and let's go into the Policy Center and search for it. And what you will see, it's exactly the same submission, the same quote, and we can see on based on the timestamp, it was just quoted a couple of seconds ago. Perfect. We're combining the robustness and reliability of our insurance with core transaction system with the new Jutra platform capability to enable digital agility. And this in combination with GWCP will be powering even faster innovation cycle. There is a quote on a movie that is one of my favorite movies that says, the slower you move, the faster you die. This one is going to enable you to move even faster. Exactly, and based on my own experience talking to our customers and partners worldwide, that's exactly what they desperately need to reduce time to market and overall cost of implementing digital experiences. Excellent, Dimitri. Thanks for making this happening from 6,000 miles. That's, that's really exciting. That's the power guide for our cloud, Diego, and you're always welcome. Diego, that was incredible. I love every single part of that demo, except why is your quote cheaper than mine? Well, Mike, you, you, you're the CEO. I really think I need to figure out how to adjust the quote. We need to adjust the quote. Yes, but when we did your quote, there are two things that were missing. We didn't have the Azardub integration. And uh, so we picked the price that was assuming that you needed a full protection. Now with the Azardub integration, depending on where your location is, you could decide to pick a different coverage. Actually, in real life, what you will receive, you will receive a notification over your phone, and as Dimitri is showing now, you could go through that notification and you will see before yeah. com committing that you can pick scroll, something down. Scroll down, scroll down. Pick me, give me the basic. Okay, good. Let's see. Okay, good. Okay, I think that's good. That's more suitable. Yes, and you can see when you refresh, the price is directly refreshed into Policy Center. So uh, you did that change into your mobile, we refresh directly again available in the transactional system. I just want to pause here and go through this with everybody because I think it's actually, it's, a, it's very, very powerful. You're showing how Policy Center is running and orchestrating the whole system and it enabling us to put that same application in multiple places at the same time. So the logic exists in just one place and then it's exposed everywhere. Yes, it's yes. And as you notice, the design of Jutro made it everything design responsive. So any channel will have a design that will automatically work. So in this case, we're showing on the phone without any extra work. So basically my feedback is ship it, right? Let's go. Yes, yes. We, we are actually working on that very hard. So Dimitri, thanks a lot to make this happening. It was great to have this interaction between here and there. Uh, next time I'm sure traveling will be open and uh, I will have you here happily on stage. It's a great job. It's a great job. I just wanted to say to you, congratulations. It's a great vision. We're excited about the future of these uh, digital experiences. Yes, and actually, 
You know, we talked a lot about automation and we talked a lot about, about innovation. Um, and so the question that Mike asked was, when is this going to ship? So as mentioned, a lot of what we're working is part of our re-release. Um, but every time we are defining what is going to go into release, the readiness at the automation level is going to be a key decider, right? Um, so a lot of those features will become available early in Q1, and we're looking for early adopter that we can, that we can work with to ensure that that functionality will progress in the right direction. I think it's a great, great point, right? And what, one of the things I was talking about earlier is how we're evolving release over release over release and how the cloud enables us to have access and work with you and partner with you in new ways. What he just said was, if you're interested in this, come track us down. We're looking for early access customers to partner with us and how it's designed and deployed and we're, we're really excited about what we'll be able to create together. Yes, and again, the early, the early access program was invented to enable us to innovate with few customers before we go into the automation. You don't want to automate too early because you don't want to make the mistake to automate something that ultimately is not what customers want, right? Yeah. So, um, super excited. As you can see, most of what we've shown was working. I was very excited well, that great. nothing broke down. And so, uh, we're looking forward for any early access that is interested in doing this. Well, congratulations to you and the team. It was a phenomenal presentation, phenomenal demo. I want to thank everybody for joining us this morning. Uh, enjoy the rest of the week. Have just the right amount of fun. It's great to be here with all of you. So thank you very much. Please welcome GuideWire's Chief Marketing Officer, Brian Desmond. Wow. We've been doing connections a long time. I cannot remember so many great product announcements. What a phenomenal GuideWire keynote. How about we give him another round of applause? Wow. I wanted to uh, just add my thanks to all of you for coming here, for being with us. It is so inspiring to, to see everyone, and also to the thousands of people that are following our live stream and will watch all of this great content on demand over the coming weeks. Just phenomenal. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so Mike and team showcase innovation that's happening in this community and talked about some fantastic new products from, from GuideWire. Isn't GuideWire Live great? Isn't it awesome? Well, again, just to celebrate this, it's not only two VIP, it's not really just two tickets to the Super Bowl, it's two VIP tickets and a VIP experience to the Super Bowl to see the Niners play whoever the Niners will play in the Super Bowl. <laughs> just saying. So, over the next few days, we're just gonna have a lot of fun. We have GuideWare subject matter experts, you, our customers, and our fantastic partners sharing experiences, talking about innovation, and more than 70 breakouts. We have three phenomenal guest speakers that are gonna join us on the main stage, and I think you'll find them inspiring. We're just gonna have a lot of fun together in this community, and we really hope it's a rich and rewarding experience for everyone who's following us online. I also wanted to just, on behalf of GuideWare, thank all of our partners for making connections possible. So for example, to our diamond sponsors, EY and PwC, our platinum sponsors, Capgemini, Cognizant, Deloitte, One Inc, and Smart Communications, our gold, silver, and bronze partners, bronze partners, thank you. Uh, AWS have sponsored a new experience in our partner pavilion, our ecosystem demo theater. So please do check that out. And thank you to Accenture for co-sponsoring our customer appreciation party. More on that later. Now, when you go and visit our partners, please remember to get your, your badge scanned, and you'll be able to a chance to win some phenomenal prizes. So please do that, and we'll announce the winners on Thursday. After the break, please join us back here at 11 o'clock for a guest speaker. Trust me, you do not want to miss this guest speaker. Now we'll go to break. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.